But Kishi is an intriguing and sinister two-faced demon from the folklore of the Kimbundu tribes in northern Angola. By two-faced, I mean this in both the literal and metaphorical sense. According to legend, the creature's appearance is not the only factor that makes it deceptive. In fact, its very nature and survival depend on its ability to charm and manipulate its prey. On the front side of its head sits a human face, one that presents itself as handsome and alluring. However, hidden behind on the back of its head is the terrifying and snarling face of a hyena. And by all accounts, this is the real face of the Kishi, a ferocious and cunning predator. Over countless centuries, hyenas have inspired a multitude of bizarre myths and legends within broader African folklore. They predominantly play an ominous role within these stories, embodying themes of cunning and trickery. And in fact, in various Bantu cultures, hyenas are considered nighttime creatures. And this means that they can communicate with the dead, acting as almost messengers between the physical world and the spirit world. You see, it's typical for hyenas to be depicted as creatures that blur the line between the natural and the supernatural realms. And in many tales, they are associated with witchcraft and dark magic. Overall, hyenas serve as powerful symbols in African folklore. They embody the tension between civilization and the wilderness, and that's what kind of makes them such a compelling figure. You see, the continent has such a rich and strong tapestry of myths and legends, and the Kishi is just one of many iterations of hyenas in folklore. For example, Nigeria, there are tales of the were-hyena, which, much like the werewolf, is a man who can transform himself into a hyena uh, at will. And in Somalia, there is the Admi. Now, the Admi is a malevolent creature, and he's supposed to kind of embody the worst traits of both humans and hyenas or sort of wild animals. In that respect, the Kishi isn't very different because it uses its charm to lure beautiful women. And in some legends, the Kishi takes its victim to a secluded area and will proceed to feast upon her. But in other versions of the myth, the Kishi actually marries his victims and he'll provide a long and happy and secure life uh, for his spouse, all in order to have a child with her, and then, after the child is born, he eats his wife, and then takes the child away to then be raised in the wild to become a flesh-eating monster like its father. The myth of the Kishi is just one of many that highlight the rich and diverse tapestry of African folklore. Each story has a unique blend of magic, morality, and mysticism, and it offers a window into the soul of the culture. Even today, the legend of the Kishi resonates with us. It echoes in tales of deceit and the predators that walk among us in modern society. Whether in the remote villages of Angola or the bustling cities of the world, the spirit of the Kishi remains a prominent symbol of the eternal struggle between trust and treachery.